Hello, welcome to another very beautiful and basic chapter of physics and it's about refraction of light. Uh, you must know that each and every single lines of this chapter is important and those who loves physics, those who loves optics, this is something it's very interesting. And uh, I have written some main contents of this chapter that we need to know well and accurately. And of course, those who will study this chapter, you know that how important this is. As because in my previous classes, I explained about the reflection of light. And I have uploaded a series of videos based on that word, reflection of light. So this is the first tutorial where I should... Uh, uh, explain that what is the basic of the refraction of light and what are the contents that is coming next you see the main content of this chapter which is we need to know what are the laws of refraction we need to know what is refractive index and basically in this tutorial I shall explain about it a refractive index can be two types that is absolute refractive index and relative refractive index so I shall explain about it a little bit then critical angle and total internal reflection this is another basic concept of refraction of light we need to know about rainbow mirage optical fiber periscope binocular and prism is very interesting and then we need to know another another big part of it which is lens then we need to know about what are the types of lens what are the ray diagram in the lens like in the mirror so those who will already started about the mirror you know that there are some ray diagram and some rules like rule of sixes which is also applicable in case of lens so this is another big area of discussion Number six, we need to know, though it's a little bit part of biology, but we need to know that the structure uh, of a human eyes and how we can see is because it's all about light. Then we need to know another important thing, which is uh, the defects of visions. So there are a lot of defects, but particularly in this chapter, two types of visions defects has been discussed, which is myopia and hypermetropia, that means long sight or hypermetropia and the short side or myopia and lastly we need to know about the perception of colored object though i mean if you consider this one as a chapter there are number of list uh, will be accountable that for the main content but as i am following a specific academic syllabus so these eight concepts i should explain so at first think about it what is the refraction if you can remember the, the 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 concepts of the previous videos that if light falls in, in, in inclined positions then three phenomena will happen okay if light travels from one medium transparent medium to another medium then three phenomena will happen number one some portion of light will be reflected this is the reflection of light some phenomena of, I mean some portion of light will be absorbed by the second medium and another way <clears throat> as light is falling from one transparent medium to another then some the changes of motion of light will happen these changes of motion of direction or the changes of direction of motion is called the refraction so we must know when light travels from one transparent medium to another three phenomena is happening so this is reflection this is absorption though it's actually the part of refraction and this is the refraction and in this video and in this entire playlist we will be discussing about the refraction of light which is this so now think about why why light changes its direction so if i draw something uh, like this suppose this is uh, the surface and this is the normal of the surface so this is suppose this is vacuum vacuum and this is air 
think about two transparent media. Vacuum is very simple, like there is no medium actually, but this is air. So light is refracting. Light is coming, coming from vacuum. So light is coming from vacuum and entering to the air. There will be a changes because or, or you can think about, you can think about a different way. Suppose this is air and this is water. Think about this is air and this is water. So light is entering from air to water. So what will happen? So through the way, as we know that light moves in a straight way, so light should be fallen in this way, through this direction, but it doesn't happen. Light changes the direction of its motion because of the velocity and the density of the medium. This is very important. So light will, light will be falling down into this direction into this direction why or if it can go in that directions like whatever like this i mean suppose uh, this is suppose this is uh, water so this is the another medium differences this is water and uh, think about it okay so now now you think again this is the point of incident okay this is the point of incident and we are thinking that this one another another normal another normal so now light will be again refracted and that should not be in this direction it will be in this direction okay so what is happening here if you just concentrate on the picture that I have drawn in the whiteboard, you see that light is coming from air and entering into the water and again from water it is entering to the air. So when light was coming through air, the velocity of light was different. But when it was entering into the water the velocity of light in water is differently changed i mean it's definitely less so when the changes the direction that is known as the refraction of light so what is the definition when light enters or travels from one transparent media to another transparent media and in an inclined position inclined positions that means obliquely inclined positions then the direction of motion of light changes that phenomena is known as the refraction now think about it there is definitely an angle has been created so this is an angle so from the basic of reflection this is an incident ray and this is refractive ray and this is the incident angle and this is the refractive angle and you see if this is i and this is r the angle i and angle r they are not same they are not same so why they are not same because the velocity of light in air and the velocity of light in water are not same that is why it changes and that is known as the refractive index this is a quantity and that quantity expressed by m so usually what we can say that if i say that what is refractive index the refractive index is actually c by v this is very important and this is also very simple c is the velocity of light in vacuum okay and v is the velocity of light in any medium so think about the refractive index of air the refractive index of air if i want to find the refractive index of air so i must say this is m 
so refractive index of air it means that v by c oh sorry c by v so what is c and what is v the c is the velocity of light in vacuum so what we know the velocity of light in vacuum that is 2.9910 to the power 8 meter per second and in air in velocity uh, of air actually it can be like 2.26 times 10 over 8 think about it simply so if or if you say that the uh, the, the refractive index of water so in water light travels 2.26 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second so now the refractive index of any any medium it can be anything suppose the refractive index of b medium that is actually c by v that c is fixed the velocity of light in vacuum but this v is the velocity of light in b medium this b can be anything this b can be glycerin can be air can be water can be diamond anywhere so now if we divide this think about it. If you divide 10, 10 over 8, 10 over 8 from both sides, okay, and now what is the refractive index of water? So if you see that 2.99 divided by 2.26, which is 1.32 or 1.33, which is the refractive index of water. 1.33 and it has no unit and you see the refractive index of water is 1.33 so how I can find this refractive index I just divide two velocity the velocity of light in vacuum and the velocity of light in water so then I got a number which is definitely greater than 1 why because the refractive index of anything, refractive index of anything, respect to vacuum will definitely greater than 1. Why? As because we know that this refractive index, we, ca we can have this magnitude by dividing the velocity of light in vacuum by the velocity of light in any medium and we know that velocity of light in vacuum is the maximum velocity of light and the velocity of any medium is definitely less than the velocity of light in vacuum so as you are dividing the larger number by the smaller one that is why always the, the refractive index would be greater than 1. But in case of relative refractive index, it can be less than 1. I shall upload another video based on refractive index. And on that video, I shall explain why it also can be less than 1. But you see, think about it. Now, if somebody says that I have written some sort of like the refractive index of normal glass the refractive index of normal glass is 1.52 or think about the refractive index of diamond is 2.42 okay 2.42 so what is the velocity of light in diamond now think about it what is the data what is the principle that the refractive index is actually c by v okay so i say the refractive index of diamond that is c by v d that means the refractive index of diamond is equal to the velocity of light in vacuum divided by the velocity of light in diamond now it has been asked so i know the refractive index of diamond is 2.42 so i can say that velocity of diamond is actually c by eta d so this is actually m n d so c means the velocity of light in vacuum which is simple 2.99 is actually 3 to 10 to the power 8 10 to the power 8 and this is 2.52 so if we know the refractive index we also can find out the velocity of light on that medium so if i divide 2.99 times 10 to the power 8 
divided by 2.52 will have 1.18 1.186 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second so now we can find the velocity of light in diamond so what is the refractive index means it means the ratio of the velocity of light in two different medium so one is the velocity of light in vacuum and other is like D and think about the normal glass or the air you see the refractive index of air is 1.00029 so we know what is the what is the principle that that n is c by v so we know the refractive index of air so we know the velocity of air how we just change it the velocity of air by c by refractive index of air so if we divide 2.99 times 10 to the power 8 by 1.00029 will have a similar number of a uh, little bit changes of this velocity so i hope you understand the refractive index and you know that what are the contents that we need to know later on because every single concept of this chapter is important and we need to understand this with a peaceful mind and and uh, without any error so i hope you understand these things and I, i'm going to give you another examples why this is uh, related with angle so so i hope you understand till this part that i explained and now you see one thing so this is i and r this i and r is not same as because light changes the direction of its motion that is why this i and r are not same and which is another part of the ref ref uh, law of refractions so when light enters in the from the rarer medium to denser medium the ref the angle of the refraction will be less and when light enters from the denser to rarer medium then the the, ref the angle of reflections refractions will be bigger so till today and this part i explain a little bit in the next video i'm coming up with another uh, explanation of the basic of refractive index as long as uh, the law of refractions so see you in the next class take care stay well